Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel just drop me the Steam Workshop link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. So for the day we're looking at another small fighter, a hydrogen based fighter which is called the Ronin Mark III which is this lovely thing right here. So pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The Ronin Mark III is 979 small blocks using no DLC packs and no mods. So we're going to start by having a quick look around the outside and then we're going to fly it around and see if we can shoot up a nearby pirate base. So coming around to the very front here, this is what we get. A camera at the very very front to make sure you can get a good view of where you're going and what you're going to shoot. Just above that, past all these lovely silver blocks, we come to our fighter cockpit and behind that we can see a cheeky antenna sticking out the top. As for the side here, we can see the first of many small hydrogen thrusters which are going to be used to push us around at some very good speeds. Just below here, on top of this little block which is my main complaint of this ship, is the landing gear. The landing gear is in a very odd position to the point that you can't land flush on the ground because of that turret right there. If you try and land flush, you're going to damage that turret and you will not sit correctly. So you will need to make a small little landing bay or plop down a block like I have to make it snap down. Anyway, moving across, we can see even more small hydrogen thrusters and some more lovely block work. As we continue along through the body, we can see some more hydrogen tanks, which are the brand new hydrogen tanks from the recent Frostbite update. Good campaign, by the way, if you haven't tried it yet or don't own the DLC. It's difficult, but not impossible. A lot of the guns have been toned down in it, but you don't take too much damage. You just have to be prepared for the unexpected. So just have a few guns, make sure it's all full of ammunition and all that. Anyway, back to the ship. We then got the first of a few large hydrogen thrusters to make sure we can stop in time and boost away in time. And just behind here near our turret we can see a small spotlight to light up the darkness and a hydrogen engine. Moving across to the wing, this is our first Gatling gun setup. We get six of them that sit on the very edges of our wings to blast you away your enemies. And moving across we can see some more small hydrogen thrusters at the bottom there. Then on the very edge of the wings we got some nice blast door edges. Some more lovely silver blocks coming all the way around to the back. This is what we get. We can see the backs of those Gatling guns. Some more small hydrogen thrusters and then some more large hydrogen thrusters. We have a merge block on the back to connect up to a base if you needed to. And we can see the Gatling gun that sits on the top and the bottom. If we come up and above this lovely ship, we can see even more hydrogen thrusters. Some more lights and some more great block work. And over towards our cockpit, we have a parachute, a very nice block to save your ship from crumbling into pieces, say if you forgot to recharge this with ice. And there's our antenna that sits over there. And then dropping down, coming underneath it. So like I said earlier, there is the landing gear, which is in a kind of awkward position, but it's doable. It's livable. You can get around it by just placing a block down and having it hover a little bit. As we move along, we then got a camera to help us snap down onto the ground and a connector to recharge ourselves with ammunition, uranium and anything else. And got a good use of a tie there for some additional decoration. Come across on some conveyors, there's the bottom of our hydrogen tanks and our hydrogen engine. There's our turret and some more small thrusters underneath our wings. And that just about covers the outside of the Ronin Mark III. A great designed ship with enough firepower to make sure you can never fail in combat unless you run out of ammunition or crash into the ground. Speaking of crashing it into the ground, we're going to be flying this in just a moment, but first we need to talk about what it has on its hotbar. So putting the power on, we have then one tab of stuff to play with. You might notice that the hydrogen will start to decrease a little bit, that's because the hydrogen engine is powering this, because I did not put uranium into it. Anyway, number one is to switch on the lights all around the ship, on and off. Number two is to fire the Gatling guns, and I forgot to put ammunition into it. Number three is for our hydrogen thrusters, except the large ones, on and off. Number four is to open and close our parachute hatch. Number five is our camera at the front. Number six is to lock or unlock our connector at the bottom. Seven for the merge block on the back. Eight for the camera facing straight down. 
And number nine is to turn on or off our Gatling guns. And what they found over there? I have no idea. Yes, now it's time for me to probably get into my character, press P, and away we go. So using the hydrogen engine, just one of them, I've added a new tab where I switched off the second one, we can see that our hydrogen is slowly ticking down quite a considerable pace. Just flying around here, we've already lost 10, and it looks like oh, we might be losing power, and we've just crashed to the ground. So what I'm going to do is just spawn in a brand new one and actually put some uranium ingots inside it. Flying it around, let's go forwards. We are very, very fast. Stopping as well, we are fantastic. Going left and going right once again, extremely fast. And going down and going up again, very, very fast. Moving my mouse around, we've got a nice lot of control over this. There's a little bit of weight on there to give it a bit more meteor controls. It is fantastic. So now I'm going to go and try and fly over to those pirates over there. And we'll go and ram our face straight into them because we don't have any ammunition. And here we go again. I should point out that this ship is designed to be played in a creative scenario. So putting in survival is a little bit unfair. But people have asked me to do more videos in survival mode. So you can get a better look at how ships use their power and their fuel. Yes, we might be able to make it over there. We might do a crash landing straight into them. I do not know. But I turned off the dampeners. There goes our thrusters. Can we toggle them on, please? No, we cannot. We're going to land just short of the pirates. And... Splap. And here we go one more time. We are now at the pirate base. Here they come. They're now shooting. And ram it straight into them. There we go. It's a bloody solid ship. There goes the Gatling guns. They're going to try and deal with the turrets around the base. And our cockpit is now destroyed. And I am now dead. I forgot about that. But that is it for the Ronin Mark III. It's a lovely, well-designed ship. It does need to be used in a creative scenario, which is where some people like to spend a lot of their time, because not everyone likes survival mode. But anyway, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.